All right, so this video we're going to look at modeling uh, trig functions. We're going to be given a graph, and we have to figure out what the trig function is. Now I've got, I'll have eight different examples, and they're all going to be in. Each example is going to have its own video. Uh, the first two examples are just normal uh, sine, cosine. That's examples one and two. There's no shift, no horizontal vertical shift or anything like that. It's just normal. Uh, the second, I mean, the third and fourth examples is going to be the graph will be reflected about the x-axis. Uh, one video will be with sine, one will be with uh, cosine. And then the fifth and sixth video, the fifth and sixth example, uh, the graphs will have a horizontal shift. Uh, one will be sine, one will be cosine. And in the seventh and eighth video, uh, the graph will have a horizontal and vertical shift. One of the videos will be sine, the other one cosine. All right, so... Uh, let's take a look at this one so we can see that this is going to be a sine graph okay you can see the sine graph and so we know it's going to be in this form here we're going to have f of x or y whatever you want to use is equal to a times sine of bx plus c plus d. That's the general form. Okay, that's that's the general form of a sine. Uh, well, we can see there's no horizontal shift because it starts here at zero. So that tells us that c is equal to zero. And then you can see there's no vertical shift. So that tells us that D is equal to zero. So we know D is equal to zero. Okay. So C, that tells us there's a horizontal shift. D tells us if there's a vertical shift. All right. So we've got C and D taken care of. They're both zero. Now, what about A? Well, we can see the max value is one and the minimum value is negative one. So that tells us that A is equal to one. All right, so now we have to figure out what B is, okay? Well, the first thing we need to do is find the period. Well, the period, okay, remember that's 2 pi over B. And see, that'll give us our value of B if we can figure out what the period is. Well, the period is from, is the distance of one cycle of the graph. Okay, see here's one cycle and then of course it keeps going this way and it keeps going this way also. It just keeps repeating. But we can see that the period, okay, so the period here is equal to 2 pi over 3 minus 0, which is 2 pi over 3. Okay. So we can replace the period with 2 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 is equal to 2 pi over b. All right. And see what that does by finding the length of the period. You just take the, the largest value minus the smallest value, and that gives you the length of the period. And so now we can say the period is 2 pi over 3, which equals this. And then obviously, you see here, you've got the 2 pi, the 2 pi, so that means 3 is equal to b. Okay, Or, you know, if you wanted to solve it, you, would, you could cross multiply, and that would give you 2 pi b equals uh, 6 pi, divide both sides by 2 pi, so we get b equals 3. All right, so we've got A is 1, B is 3, C is 0, and D is 0. So we get F of X is equal to 1 times sine 3X plus 0 plus 0. So that tells us that F of X is equal to sine 
3x. And there is your function for the graph. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, check out the other ones. They're all going to be a little bit different. Uh, so thanks for watching. Give me a like, subscribe, and share. See you later.